<clears throat> hey dudes, hey guys. So um, yeah, it is, what day is it? I don't even know, but we are leaving our home. That's why there's an echo. My room is um, quite different now. It's empty <clears throat> and we're about to head across town. And I was just thinking, you know, I got up and did my, my Qigong and my peace process. And I'm so grateful and thankful for our group that meets every, every day during the week to be together and do our inner stuff to, um, to heal this stuff. Cause I really believe the future is about healing this inner stuff. And right now, so many are in such a tough time. There's so much uncertainty, you know, there's a big echo, but I'm going to just do this anyway. I was reminded this morning when I was doing my Qigong of um, Dr. Tantz, and he's a trauma surgeon in San Diego. He became a really good friend of mine. I used to treat his family and we would, um, he was just a really good guy. And I remember going to visit him once it, um, at his office in San Diego. And we looked out the window of the office and across the street was Mercy Hospital. And there was a helicopter landing. And so he said, hey, come with me. So we walk across the street and he clicks a little code and we walk in and we're right in the middle of the trauma center. And the guys that were in the hospital are there and they're like screaming and the nurses and doctors are kind of very calmly walking around. It's not like the TV shows, it's calm. And, um, and then it's his turn to like go set a leg and he's doing stuff and he does his part and then says, I'll see you when you're up on the floors. And then he leaves and then he's, we're back out in his office. And you know how he spent his day in the beginning? He would um, go to the chapel and he would pray every single day, every day for his clients who he was gonna meet. And he didn't even know who they would be yet. He was a trauma surgeon. And you know, when you're dealing with stuff like that, life and death, I think you get a little bit closer to God. Like, you know, what's real gets very, very real, very fast. And I think so many people are living very complacent lives and they think they're playing it safe and they think they're gonna be okay. And the thing is, you know, when you're going along and you're just doing what you're doing and you're, you you don't have the spark and you're not really going for it, it's kind of dead time. Truthfully, it's just dead time. And, you know, waiting for the weekend and waiting so you can pick up your phone so you can scroll, you know, that is a, a way to live. It's just that right now, I think so many people are being pushed to the limits, pushed to the limits, and it's super uncomfortable. And a lot of stuff that you thought was keeping you safe is no longer there. For some people, it's jobs. It's a lot of stuff that's um, pushing us to a limit, but it's a time when it could be a live time. And there's a way to go directly to spirit. There's many ways, you know? And when you have a group that can do it with you, it's really powerful. So whatever you're dealing with, whatever obstacles, whatever's going on, you know, it could be the biggest time of our lives. It is the biggest time of our lives. And we could complain. We could just um, keep looking at our phones. We could keep hoping the weekend comes and we could just drink some more, smoke more marijuana, you know? Right now, marijuana is like at an all-time high industry and there's just a lot of pain and a lot of people aren't going deep inside and trying to figure it out and talking to God and spirit. They just want to get things back how they were. Just calm down. Can't we just go back to how it was? It's like, you know, I think sometimes you got to go inside and fix this stuff. And so, so I think we're in the biggest opportunity of our entire lives. And I'm going to go down and move the rest of us out of our, my dream house. This is our dream house, but, um, but it's not our house. Um, the landlords want it back and we're moving to a beautiful place. And, um, and I'll show you the next place. So have a great weekend, you guys. And that's, um, that's right out my back door, back door for one more day. All right, you guys. Hope you're having a great day. Let me know how it's going for you guys.